All right, ladies and germs. Let's see, am I recording? I am recording. I am, am converting about 30 of these into, this is a Microtik uh, CCR 2004. I'm converting about 30 of these into DC. So, finally, somebody has sent me the proper Microtik kit. These little power supplies, the PW48V-12V85W, it's, it's the same thing that I've been using, like, these little guys when I'm doing DC conversions, but this is just Microtik's version of it. So check this out. This little package comes with your DC power supply, 48 volt to 12 volt, and it comes with this handy little um, IEC adapter that takes you from a uh, IEC terminal to a little mini terminal block. Now, uh, I'm not a big fan of these little itty bitty friggin' terminals that are on it. They're kind of small, but I think you could probably put a bigger one on it. Like, it's got plastic covering, but look at how friggin' tiny that is. I mean, um, hmm, um, uh, ruler. Um, hmm. Here, I'm gonna do this in millimeters because that's the logical thing to do. All right, so these terminals are five mil. Five millimeters. Very, very, very small. In fact, I am using the smallest ferrules that I can on these. Mind you, at, like this is like two amps, right? So I mean like it can handle it. It's just that's an itty bitty teeny tiny terminal. So now let's get down to the you know meat and potatoes of this. Now this will be the second one that I do today. Because I wanted to do one before I do the video. I'm gonna take off the cover here. I'm going to put it aside. Now I'm going to remove this clip here, like so. Now I haven't mastered a technique for removing these ports yet, so please don't crucify me for the way that I'm about to take this apart, but um, easy peasy to get the screws out first of all, right? I always keep a magnet off to my side, just uh, if I can get it. I keep a magnet nearby, a neodymium, to um, stick my screws on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There we go, there's two. Now, I'm going to only swap out one of these power supplies because, honestly, as awesome and great as it would be to have two DC power supplies in this, um, that would be proper. Have one go to uh, bus A, one go to bus B, right? Um, the client's got small sites, so it's fine to go this route. So I'm not shirking. So first things first, let's take this AC module out. Now, there are some little... This is tricky because it is fiddly. So you gotta kinda, I'm gonna use the screwdriver as a pinching mechanism like this to hold onto the lever here and work that one loose. And then I'm gonna try to do the same thing on this side here on the DC connector. So I'm just gonna pinch, there we go, and pop it off. We now have an AC power supply. New tattoo. All right, so. Now, we can get out this bad boy. So this is the tricky part, okay? Um, you guys can crucify me if you want, but I'm gonna use this as a lever. So I'm just gonna get underneath here to the edge, and I'm just going to poke the one side. Okay, oh, went back in a little bit. Actually, I might have just figured out a better approach. I can actually see the clips from there we go. I could actually see the clips. Oh, thanks, guys. You guys were helpful with that. So you can see the two clips in the bottom there. So I was able to pop it that way. And now I can just push down on this one. And this one pops out now. Look at that. While I'm doing the video, I learned something new. See, this is what I try to tell you guys, you know. None of us have all the answers. Okay, so now this little guy here. All right, let's stick it in the hole here. Exactly the same orientation. <sighs> And just give it a little push. Eh. It is a tight fit for some reason. I mean, the Microtech did engineer this, but um, since I'm not going to be using this for that, let me try this. Let me just give her a little pinch. Can you get her in? Yep. Oh, the pinch did it. There we go. And there's no scarring on the scratching on the outside of the case. Perfect. This has a nice little plastic connector that goes over it to protect the terminals. So I'm going to pop this on here, even though I'm going to take it off again in a minute. All right, beauty. So now here is our DC module. It's an 85 watt, 12 volts. So it goes from 48 volt to 12 volt. This is an isolated um, DC to DC converter. Um, now, don't take my word for that. I want you to go onto Microtech's website and look this up. 
but this one should work in positive or negative uh, 48 volts. So this will not explode if you put it in a uh, negative 48 volt plant, okay? So now I'm gonna connect my DC leads. And I'm gonna slip this guy in here like so. And now let's get some, see how this great this is? This is also, by the way, I'm timing myself right now so I can gauge how long it's gonna take me to do 30 of these. Um, oh no, I slipped and it went in the wrong hole. I hate it when that happens, it always hurts. You know, your finger, because you catch your finger on the edge of something and you, you know, you hurt yourself. Mm. <clears throat> what were you thinking? Fucking disgusting pigs. That joke just got this uh, guaranteed that this will not be on the Microtech website. <laughs> All right. I might even publish this tonight. I don't even care. I hate the stupid YouTube algorithm. I'm not even trying to get more subscribers now. I want more subscribers. I would love to be able to survive on my tech channel, but I can't see it happening. So, I mean, who cares if I upload, like, all my videos all at once? Okay, there we go. So now I can take my positive, and you can see it's got a little lump there. That goes against this to hold it in place. Plug it in. Now, look, it's got MOVs all around this port, plus a fuse. So these guys actually do have um, line-level surge protection built into them. Okay, so now that's basically done. Now, of course, before I actually go to seal this thing back up, I'm gonna pop this off and I'm gonna grab my test leads here. I've got it set for 54 volts, three amps. There is an actual positive and negative indication on here. And by the way, just because the site is neg 48 doesn't mean that there's not a positive and not negative. There is always a positive and negative. And you can't argue that, that's just DC. Um, Cause that's polarization, right? That's the flow of electrons. On a 48 volt site, your positive is zero V and your uh, negative is neg 48 or your return, right? There we go. So this guy's hooked up. Just, uh, I'm a little bit OCD, so I'm just gonna put that a little bit tighter like so. There we go, nice. Okay, so this guy's in here and let's blow it up. Oh, sad face, it didn't explode. No, I'm just kidding. I know you degenerates out there and want to see things blow up. So while this thing's booting up, just to make sure that it's working properly, we've got two uh, SFP28s on here, which are 25 gig ports, and then the rest are SFP plus 10 gig ports. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14. It's always good not to have 13 or something. It's not a great number. All right. As you can see, it works. But now that we're inside of this 2004, you can see the interesting stuff that's going on inside of here. So here's our CPU. And this goes to a couple of heat pipes that go out to this nice little heat sink on the back. While at the same time, it also still does have um, fans in it. It might have almost been a better idea to actually have a giant cooling block along here and then have the fans to draw through because You've got active and passive cooling at the same time, which is great and all, because I guess it does offer resiliency, but why not just make it passive cooling then? I don't, whatever, I'm overthinking things. All right, so this thing is essentially done. It's just that easy. Now, you don't want to use AC and DC at the same time. That's not a clever thing to do. It's not like, oh, look at me, I've got backup power, ha ha ha. No, dumb, don't. Uh, what you want to do is um, either use AC or DC. Now. The reason why we're leaving it like this is because the client wants one DC power supply, one AC, so that they can throw this thing on the bench, plug it in, and we can program it, right? When they go to permanently install it, though, they'll have the DC connector on it to be able to tie it into their plant, right? So that's why we're doing it this way. <clears throat> if you wanted to throw this into a substantial site, um, it would be advisable to have um, your AC and DC ports, or sorry, um, bleh, back that up. I forget that I said that, I screwed up. I was speaking off my brain. Uh, it would be advisable to have two of the same ports. So like I said, you can have your 248s, you can have your A bus here and your B bus here, which would ensure that if uh, anything happens to A bus, B bus takes over. But in my opinion, and this is a bad opinion, 99.999% um, of the time, if something's bad enough to take down an entire bus like that, um, Something's fucked, like royally, like God's wrath came down upon it. So 
I don't concern myself with dual power supplies on a lot of these sites, which is a very rookie thing to say and do, but you know what? I've been doing this for a very, very, very long time. I have been in telecommunications since, what, 97, I think? Yeah, I was in telecommunications before there was data over um, cellular. Yeah, try that. I was working with tip and ring units way back in the day. Try that, huh? So I might know a thing or two. And I'm not saying that uh, I'm not using the whole stupid argument that, well, I've been doing it like this for so long. It's like, no, I'm basing it on my experiences and what I've seen. Okay, so typically what I have seen working with vast amounts of different technology, um, I have worked with literally everything. Back in the day, everything was Qualcomm. Um, yeah, and I mean, we didn't have problems. The equipment would just last because DC plant is very resilient. So how long is this video? Uh, 10 minutes, 59 seconds. Cool. So it took me roughly 10 minutes to put this together, but I did screw up because I was yapping while I was doing it. So clearly I can do this faster. I can probably get it down to eight minutes, but, um, yeah, point is there you go. I just did a DC conversion using the official Microtech tech and let's put this on here now. There we go. That's another one done. 30 more to go. Oh, 20, 28. Oh, God. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit like, subscribe, tell your friends. If you guys want to help feed me, because I am a Canadian, um, you can, uh, you know, uh, pitch in on my Patreon, you know, because I do try to make content that you guys find useful. And um, have a great day. Bye, guys.